I'm Laurie Thomas from the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the water oak. Water oak, Quercus nigra, sometimes called possum oak or spotted oak. It is a member of the red oak group. It is a deciduous, fast-growing, and short-lived tree, and it commonly lives about 60 to 80 years of age. Trees typically grow 50 to 80 feet tall and up to 3 feet in diameter, and they tend to have a conical to a broad, rounded crown with a straight main trunk that can often have a fair amount of epicormic branching. Water oak looks similar to willow oak and shingle oak. In the deep south, it can sometimes be evergreen. It has been used as a shade tree in southern communities, and its flowers and fruit provide food for wildlife. Water oak is native to the eastern and south central United States. It is found in all the coastal states from New Jersey to Texas and inland as far as Oklahoma, Kentucky, and southern Missouri. In Kentucky, it can be found in several western and southern counties. It grows on a range of sites from wet bottomlands to well-drained moist uplands. And water oak's best growth is on better drained silty clay or loamy type soils of high flats and ridges of alluvial stream bottoms. Water oak is classified as shade intolerant and does not compete well with other species. Water oak is deciduous with alternately arranged leaves. The leaves may remain on the tree until midwinter. The leaves are simple in form, usually about two to four inches long and extremely variable in shape. They can be spatulate to lanceolate and have no lobes or up to five lobes. The margins are entire, but lobes have bristle tips like other red oaks. The surface is smooth and the underside of the leaf may have rusty colored hairs along the leaf's main veins. The leaves are green to bluish green during the growing season and autumn color is brown to copper. Water oak is monoecious, meaning a tree has both male and female reproductive structures. The male or staminate flowers are in hanging catkins that are produced near the tip of the previous year's growth, and that's the photo on the left. The female or the pistillate flowers are small short stalk clusters at the junction of the current year's growth, the photo on the right. They both develop shortly before or just as the leaves emerge and the flowers are wind pollinated. The fruit is a small acorn that's about a half an inch long with a flattened cap that covers close to a third of the acorn. The acorns may be arranged in pairs or single on the stem. The color tends to be very dark to almost black. They mature during the second growing season in the fall and the acorns are disseminated by wind, water, and wildlife. The bark of water oak when it's young is dark in color and tight and smooth. As the tree ages, the bark develops irregular rough patches and the color begins to lighten to gray. Those irregular patches continue to develop into wide scaly ridges with age. Water oak wood is regarded as weaker in comparison to most oaks. Red oaks such as water oak do not have the level of decay and rot resistance that white oak possesses and durability should be considered minimal. Water oak wood is used for timber and fuel and its veneer has been used for fruit and vegetable containers, and it's been widely planted in southern communities as a shade tree. Water oak, like other oaks, is an important tree species for wildlife. Oaks are one of the top 10 trees for wildlife, according to the National Wildlife Federation. Water oak acorns are an important food source for white-tailed deer, eastern gray squirrel, raccoons, mallard, wood duck, and bobwhite quail, just to name a few. The buds and twigs provide winter browse for deer, and water oak is also the host plant for the larvae of the imperial moth, as well as numerous butterflies, including hair streaks and dusky wings. The national champion water oak, as of 2024, is in Fayette County, Tennessee. It's 253 inches in circumference, 99 feet tall, with a 101-foot crown spread. The Kentucky Champion is at Kentucky Dam Village State Resort Park. It is 217 inches in circumference, 90 feet tall, with a 108-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check, check out the National Champion 
KentuckyChampionTrees.org website or check out Kentucky Champion Trees at the Kentucky Division of Forestry. Now for a few fun facts about water oak. The name water oak refers to its leaf shape. The top lobe looks as if a drop of water is hanging from the end of the leaf. Water oak is also sometimes called possum oak because possum are known to eat the acorns. According to the American Heritage Trees, one of Helen Keller's favorite trees that she often wrote about was a water oak that is still alive at her home in Tuscumbia, Alabama. The genus named Quercus is the Latin name for the oak trees, and the specific epithet nigra is Latin for black, referring to the dark appearance of the tree's canopy and the blackish color of the acorns. Thanks for joining me to learn about the water oak. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or your neighborhood and enjoy the beautiful trees of Kentucky.